In this video, I'll be teaching you how to create a PayPal business account. Kung ikaw ay isang freelancer at gusto mong mabayaran ka ng mga clients mo through PayPal, this is for you. I already have my PayPal business account where clients send my money for projects that I that I did for them. But today, I wanna create this video specifically for you. Alright, let's get started. So, ano ba yung difference ng personal and business? So, for personal, that's used for um, shopping, um, sending payment, tsaka refunds and returns din kung ikaw ay bumili sa, let's say, Amazon. Whereas for business, mas flexible siya. Pwede siya um, pag siya shopping online, pwede rin sa refund. At ito yung maganda. Kung meron kang website and you wanted to include your PayPal link, pwede mo siyang i-link sa website mo. And also to your other social media channels. Uh, this is best for freelancers. That's the reason why I'm doing this tutorial night right now. So, let's get started with business. Sign up tayo. Let's choose business account so you can see ito. You can send and receive payments under your business name. They have online 24 hours, 24-7 fraud monitoring, and no setup monthly or hidden fees. If PayPal is your choice, then let's uh, hit next. You just have to answer the following questions. The primary use of PayPal is to receive payments for goods and service. I'm looking to accept payments via email or invoicing. Whether it's a website, pero since uh, I send the invoice, we want to send the invoice to our clients. Let's select this thing. And the monthly sales volume is, um, kung hindi ka pa sure because you're a beginner, let's just uh, select this one, right? And hit next. Once you're done with the first form, you will be redirected to this one. So let's just key in our our email. I'm not going to use my personal email. I'm going to use my business email. And enter a password. And then make sure you click the agree and continue. If you wanted to read the user agreement, do so. Let's just uh, go over it on a new tab. And I will just scroll it through. If there's something that you wanted to read on particularly, there are also topics here that you can just click on. And then from there, you can read it. PayPal is a very secure payment uh, facility. So I've tested it for years already. And uh, uh, I like it so far. Well, except for the fact that it charges a lot of money. But yeah, let's just continue. My first legal name is Kevin. Legal last name. And the legal business name is Kinetic Slides. Let's just say Kinetic Slides 2 because I already have an account for Kinetic Slides, right? The business phone number is 9452. Agree and continue. The primary currency is in peso, yes. Agree and continue. The business type is select the type of business. It's sole proprietorship because mag isa ko lang. The product or service is about designs, right? So let's just select designs. Okay. The closest is this one, professional services. The website is optional. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put that. If you wanted to put your website, if you have, just uh, type in there. But uh, I don't want to. So let's just continue. Uh, date of birth. Just fill this uh, thing in. Identity document, it's a national ID. The national ID that I'll be using. I'm gonna use our na my national ID, or in the Philippines, we call this the UMID ID. Home address, if it's same as the business address, just check this box and then submit. Now you have it, All right? Ganun lang kadali, guys. So finally, we're able to create our our second Kinetic Slides PayPal account. And here on top, here makikita natin kung ilan yung PayPal balance natin in the currency that we've selected when we open this account. We also have quick links here for the App Center for invoicing. If you want to create an invoice, kung meron ka ng project and you want to create an invoice, you can do this thing. Also, request money. If you wanted to request money from a friend, if you do that, let's just right click and open in a new tab. Pwede kang mag-request using the emails. You can just uh, put in here the email. Let's say for instance, mag-request ako kay dito sa, ano, dito sa address na to and even to other addresses. 
right? And then hit next. But I'm not going to do that. Um, other features is the, the PayPal.me. So basically, when you do this thing, let's just open it in a new tab. When you do this thing, um, create PayPal.me. Um, not now. You just have to choose a link or type in a link. Let's say kinetic slides. Kinetic slides to 2021. Next. And then hit this and then agree. Now, whenever we type in that paypal.me slash kinetic slides 2021, it's going to bring us to this page. At kung sakali man na ako yung nag-type in nito, for instance, I'm a client or I'm a friend of uh, the owner of this account, I can either request or send him money. Galing, di ba? Very convenient. So you can just copy this link and send it to anyone that you want to, that wants to send you a money or that wants to request money from you. Perfect, right? So much about that. Let's just uh, go back. And uh, this is a checkout account. What happens when you click on the checkout account, this is where you will link the online, the online stores kung saan gagamitin mo itong, itong PayPal business account mo sa pag-purchase ng mga products or services online. Okay? Let's go back to this dashboard. We can see that from here, kung ilan yung, yung money in, yung mga pumasok, wala pa. So let's just uh, try to create our very first invoice. Meron na dito. So let's type in the, the email address. Description, let's say PowerPoint service. And then the amount, let's say 10,000. And then hit next. Hit next. And then pagka next natin, it will bring out the bigger version of this page, the invoice page. So this is the invoice number. Obviously, this is our very first invoice. You can CC additional recipients here. Just type them here. Let's just say joy and then enter. And if you wanted to put some description of the PowerPoint service that you did, you can put them here. Let's say 20 deck or 20 slide deck, um, 7 days standard lead time. Yeah. And then depending on you, if you want to offset because there's what we what we call the uh, the PayPal fees, right? So for instance, 10,000 yung ibibigay sa akin ng client. Sa akin, hindi na siya buong 10,000. Meron na siyang kaltas. So roughly, ang mga 45%. Now, based on my experience, hindi ko matansya kung, kung magkano yung kinakaltas, ilang percentage yung kinakaltas ni, Pay, ni PayPal sa mga dumarating na pera to my account. So what I just did as a standard is that I add 5% of this amount. So let's add 5%. I put here PayPal fee, 5%. Okay, so what's 5% of 10,000? That's 500, right? Okay, let's delete this one. We don't need this anymore. And if you wanted to add some sort of notes to the customer, let's just say, thank you for entrusting your design to me. Yay. Right? Other than that, um, it, more options. If you wanted to attach proof of completion of the project, you can do so. Pwede ka mag-upload dyan ng JPEG, GIF, PNG, or PDF, which is up to 45 MB per file. Now, if you wanted to put some mem memo to yourself, uh, you can do so. Like for instance, helpful ito kung sakaling nagbigay ka ng promo. Given promo for first time, time client. Or pwede promise free design of social media content if in case nag-promise ka sa kanya so that mababalikan mo lang right um other than that you can also put your logo you can add it just click in the add logo here so let's just say this one ayan meron na siyang logo na funnel okay now another helpful option is if you wanted to give a discount you can just uh, add here let's say the percentage i'm selecting percentage right the percentage is 15%. Yan. So, maglila siya ng 1575. Um, definitely, walang shipping to because we're doing a service. Right? Other amount. If, we, if there are other amounts that you want to charge. Okay? And if you don't allow partial payments, don't click this one. But if allow partial payments, like for instance, I allow 50% upfront payment bago ko simulan yung project, I do this. And then, lalabas itong minimum due amount. So, let's say for instance, ang Ang kalahati nito is 8.9, right? Anong kalahati ng 8.9? 4.4.4.5, right? 
4445. Oh, i-round lang natin kayo natin 44,000 kahit papaano. And then it's always a good idea to click this box right here. Para kung sakali man na naisipan ng client na ng client na bigyan tayo ng ng tip, pwede, 'di ba? They just input whatever amount they're comfortable giving to us. And you can Do a preview before you can send. And here is how the invoice looks. Once you're happy with how it looks, just send it. Okay? That's the end of this video. Hope na katulong. And if you want to know more about how to use your PowerPoint skill to earn dollars, you can also subscribe to this channel and be part of the growing community on our Facebook page, PowerPoint Superheroes. Stay awesome.